Hello there guys and welcome back to another Rust video and in today's video we will be going over key cards and how to use them. If you don't know how to maximize your loot from a monument make sure to stay until the end to figure out how to jumpstart any wipe and have a lot more loot coming in from any and all monuments. Now firstly we are going to go over how to get the green key cards as these are essential for any monument key card puzzle. The spots you can obtain these are at the lighthouse, supermarkets, gas stations and harbor. These are all places you can obtain a green key card without doing anything apart from just going to the location. The cards stand out as they are easy to find and as long as you go into the main part of the monument you will find the key cards just on the main desk. Harbour is different though however you will just have to look around for a minute and then you can easily find it. Now the next thing is that electric fuses are also another essential part of doing any key card puzzle. You must obtain one or two of these to do any monument and they last for only about three minutes. This means you need to be inside within three minutes not inside and back out within that time limit though to find electric fuses you just need to open crates next to barrels on the road and these are incredibly common you can also recycle these for 20 scrap but don't do that most players actually do that without considering how important they are and how much they might need them now thirdly key cards can only be used a max of 10 times now there have been updates making red card durability only at two uses these key cards are also needed for oil rigs and have been limited to their use now you will need to get good at many different cards if you plan on running the same location many times. Blue cards still have good durability and have not changed dramatically. Make sure to save all electric fuses as you will need to use many to obtain a lot of key cards, especially red ones. Instead of using one per fuse box, you can put it in and only let it die halfway, meaning you get two uses out of one electric fuse. Now, Sewer Branch is one of the easiest and best monuments to run. You need a green card to get access to everything. That's it. Firstly, go to the top and put an electric fuse then go down one of the many cave entrances and run to the door that allows you to enter with a green key card. Then follow the light and you will have access to all the loot and even a recycler. Many players do this as it's very good so be careful. I have been camped once and it just goes to show how popular that monument can actually be. Now airfield is another amazing monument which allows red cards to be very useful. Firstly go down into the main airfield building and put a fuse into the fuse box. Then go down to one of the cave entrances and follow it. You will eventually go into a green key card needing door and after going through that you'll find a red key card door and then open that as well. You can also open two doors in between that and get some extra loot before going into the main spot. You do need two electrical fuses for this and even a blue card to get all the loot possible. And finally train yard is another amazing monument and you need a green and blue key card to get all the loot and of course one fuse. This allows you to get up to six green crates and a bunch of normal crates as well. Well, this is insane loot and on BP wipes this can allow you to get a quick head start to anything second tier. This is also an easy way to get scrap, resources and guns really quick as you don't need too many cards and you could do this off the start as you can easily buy blue cards from Outpost for scrap. You could easily rush this monument and be the richest on the wipe incredibly early on. And that's it guys, those are the main monuments I wanted to talk about so thank you for watching today's video, I hope you enjoyed it and make sure to comment what you didn't know. Also feel free to comment about something you would like to know and hear about in a future video as I'd love to learn along with you guys and share awesome Rust facts. Anyway guys, thank you again for your continued feedback and support, I really appreciate it. Again, make sure to like and subscribe and I thank you so much for watching the video. Take care guys.